Yo, hello YouTube. This is Anis. Today I'm making something special. I um, just figured out how I can uh, um, debug and use and get some feedback uh, from my, from my code using uh, the console from Dave uh, Four. I'm running uh, Dave uh, Dave uh, version number four point four point two. Um, I'm also running it on the uh, XMC Bootkit um, the one thousand series. Um, here I'm having a project of mine I'm working on. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to use and enable the uh, console um, debug option. So when you run your code, you have these um, line of code that the, you can see on the console, but that does not work. We need to enable it. So we do that by um, going to project, active project properties. Um, we go to the um, um, CC build, C, C++ build settings under tool settings we go to the ARM GCC C compiler uh, preprocessor we're, we're here we're gonna enable the define of the XMC debug so we press on the add um, and then we got to we gotta um, type in this thing in the XMC debug enable so it's like a definition to enable the XMC debug option we hit ok um, then we go to the linker when other flags we gotta add um, this line and um, actually I do not understand what does it mean I'm trying to figure it out in the internet so I can understand but doesn't really matter so we gotta add the other flags the spec uh, what's written here I'll be adding these lines in the um, description below um, then we hit ok it will ask us if we want to rebuild so yes then uh, we go to the main we gotta include um, an external function so so we can initialize the connection between the console and the bootkit then we have to um, run this function so we do that after we init our peripherals and all the things that we need to start now we can actually um, uh, use the debug option the it's like a printf so um let's say let's print this thing so if you see this hello if you see this message then please consider subscribing to my channel to my channel for more content okay so by far this is what we need to do uh, one last step, we have to enable it from the debug configuration. So you go to the debug uh, configuration. We go to the setup and then we, if you see here, enable semi-hosting. So we're going to enable the semi-hosting and the JDB client. We hit apply, we hit debug. Here we are uh, running the code, we're debugging. Uploaded. So um, this is the all the windows that we get um this is the console that we're gonna see the output from the xfc bootkit um so i'm gonna just step over until we reach the our uh, line of code that we're gonna type into the console then i'm gonna hit step over and here we see the message hello if you see this message then please consider subscribing to my channel for more content um and the code just runs perfectly um this is what you gotta do to enable the debugging and the getting some feedback on the console um i hope that has, was helpful for you and uh, um because it's really helpful when you have these lines of code that you can debug and just test where your code is um so thank you very much and I hope that was helpful for you and see you on the next video. Bye bye.